What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. We're going to be looking at Inform Graban. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name. If not, correct me in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are looking for coin, check out UT Coin Traders. The link will be in the description as usual. And now to begin the actual review. This guy on the PS3 is currently going for around 280k. And also, as a side note, I am getting a 360 um, in the next couple of days to participate in the Hub Tournament. That is going to be Season 2. So you could watch Watch those videos later on on my channel and other YouTubers channels but anyway to begin with this guy's pace is 84 on the card he felt just around 84 pace in my opinion not too fast not too slow just around 84 pace just right now free kick wise this guy scored me a really good free kick um, uh, check was in goal I think and what happened was when I took the free kick it hit the crossbar and it went in check did not even touch it which was pretty cool I guess um, long shot wise he has some disgusting dipping long shots I did not manage to score any long shots with him but you will see a couple of clips where I come very close to scoring some now he has 99 agility but don't be fooled because this guy when you want to dribble with him it is really really damn hard it was so difficult to get past defenders other than you know trying to pace abuse with him or if you have to you know use the strength where defenders don't bully you because this guy is extremely strong in my opinion and you will see a couple of clips where defenders are just trying to put him down and he just wouldn't go down he's like a one-man army very very strong for a silver player in my opinion and he felt much stronger than what his in-game stats were showing um, over 70 something I think strength he felt more in the high 80s in my opinion now position Position wise this guy was always mother f he was always out of position this guy and it was really really difficult to deal with because um, Agbon Lahore doesn't have good work rates but he was always in position and I don't know this guy I think is because his positioning is pretty poor and his work rates aren't too great so you will have to deal with his crappy positioning if it wasn't for his positioning and dribbling this guy would have been such an amazing beast to use. Now, heading-wise, did he did score me a couple of headers, so he isn't useless in the air. He, you can consider him as an aerial threat because he is quite tall as well. And um, his weak foot felt four-star weak foot, in my opinion. I did score a couple of goals with his left foot, so you will see that in the video. But other than that, that is pretty much it for this player right here. He also has three-star skill moves, so that's another disadvantage, I guess. But that is pretty much it. So do I recommend him? Well, before I get into that, if you guys are looking for some Saints Row 4 exclusive co-op gameplay, check the annotation below this video. Now, do I recommend him and how much do I pay for Inform Graban? In my opinion, I wouldn't pay more than 150k he's actually a very good player just a couple of things that let him down so 150k in my opinion is the most i would pay for him not 280k because there is a lot more better silver players in that position that you can buy so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate a like and also don't forget to let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next and also another thing is don't forget that the bundesliga and league one um, season has already begun so we could be expecting a much better team of the week from now on and especially since the premier league is beginning uh, next week so a lot to look forward to in the upcoming weeks so i hope you guys enjoyed it and as usual guys i really hope you have a very nice day